But we begin today with Chris Lowe's report for ESPN that Nick Saban is retiring as head coach of Alabama. Saban won six titles at Alabama and another one at LSU. Will, what is your reaction to this? Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know, Tony, wow. in the lead-up, there was so much time to talk about everything that I watched shows where the question was asked and it was usually dismissed, or there was some talk and there were a couple of shows where people who cover SEC football were saying, wait a minute now, this is possible. And so you, you'd hear all of this discussion, but you still think, okay, and even if you believed it, it's Nick Saban. I mean, Nick Saban and Bill Belichick have dominated football at their respective levels for the last yeah. 15 and 20 years, respectively. Yes. One yes. is now out, and the other could be out. And you just think, wow, college football, Tony, which to me is in total chaos. I mean, I know we're coming off a nice championship game and a college football playoff four and all of that, but college football to me is in a... I'm going to say this as a college football fanatic, a season ticket holder, a booster of a Power Five conference team. College football is a mess. And maybe we're going to find out in the coming days that Nick Saban's like, you know, what do I need this for? Between the transfer portal and NIL, Tony, even many of the great coaches, successful coaches, Nick Saban always has a top five recruiting class. Many of them are just like, no, enough of this. And I wonder, don't know, wonder how he feels about all that and if there was an impact. So I'm going to, like, let the viewers know how this show works. And it works is that during the day, things happen, and you remake whatever you were going to do, and you put something in. We found out about Pete Carroll fairly close to the beginning of the show, and I was stunned that Pete Carroll was out. Totally stunned. That's the, this is a factor of 100 over <laughs> Pete Carroll to yes, find out is. that Nick Saban is leaving Alabama. Nick Saban just went to the college football playoffs. Right, he went to overtime with the team that won the college championships. They're going to 12 teams next year. You can pencil him in for the next 20 years. 12 teams. Alabama's always going to be one of the 12. And he's leaving. He's an obsessive coach. He didn't take any days off all year long, basically. I did not see this coming. Can't believe it's happening. And my, and my first thoughts, like yours, is... is Oh, is Belichick going to leave at the same time? Are we going to lose the best college coach and the best pro coach in a, in a matter of hours or days or something like that? And then I think, do you want this job? Everyone assumes Dabo Sweeney gets the job. Or maybe Kirby Smart moves over from Georgia. He was an assistant there. Or maybe Lane Kiffin or maybe Steve Sarkeesian. They were assistants to Nick Saban. But do you want it? Do you want to follow him? I'm not follow sure him. you want to follow right. him. No. I'm not sure. And, Nate, Tony, the guys you mentioned, particularly Sarkeesian and Kirby Smart, they can win where they are. One has one where he is. So you don't necessarily yes. need Alabama. But, wow. man, Saban, Tony, if you – if there's, there's no argument to me counter to Nick Saban being the greatest college football coach of all time. There's That's no just, argument. I, I don't know this one you for tell Belichick me. either, because I wouldn't make one no. against Belichick. Give me something. Give me something.